before he must use yeah. Rumble every time he uses Fox. Because, oh yeah, he is. He, he went back to Fox in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's he's, right, that's he's right. He's not doing Bale, I don't think. He's doing like Sheik, Fox, Mario, I think, if I recall correctly. Yeah. We got ourselves a uh, Cookie Slayer with the Young Link. Uh, I assume it must have been an accident picking the stage. He must have picked the wrong stage or something. Yeah. All right, looks like AC is going with the snake this time, uh, for this game at least right now. So we'll see how that goes. It's, it's fun to see him go snake, because like, I remember one of the like first like really useful ultimate threads. What? <laughs> Why is Charlie walking? He's popping off. All right, all right. <laughs> Being being the last one to die in the button warmer, yeah, that's I guess I guess that's worth it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, AC like actually put off a really hopeful like thread of tips of like for all the people that aren't brawl veterans, here are the basics of playing against Snake. And like he like laid out a whole bunch of weaknesses, and then like MVD responded that there was like, dude, please stop. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did AC play Snake in brawl? I actually don't know what his brawl name was. Oh, I didn't know that. He did that he uh, that he changed his tag rather. I just assumed it was always AC. But now, now it's of course uh, like Armando, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see how this goes down. So we got two foxes on stage, and then a snake and a young link. Uh, young link, actually, probably the closest you're gonna get to like default link from uh, from Smash Four. Yeah. Because uh, the new link is uh, way different. I, I I've accidentally called young link on several occasions melee link, and. <laughs> It's kind of just the general feels. He has that same familiar kit from the very beginning of Smash. Right. Good spacing coming from Zan. Isn't able to get away though. Still puts himself off stage and already uh, oh. Eon losing his first sock right there. Yeah. And just right. some good amount of uh, off stage pressure again with that Nikita. Such a great tool in singles and doubles. Yeah, they kind of split up there. The Foxes are kind of beating each other up while Young Link and Snake try and figure it out. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have its brawl hitbox, but a Snake up tilt is still a very good move. Oh, yeah. Right, we got the edge guard going. Oh, Charlie trying to finish it off, and he gets the trade that he's looking for, too. Taking Eon's second stock in the process. Runs in with the up smash, able to get the next uh, stock off of Charlie. Yeah, but this is actually really tough for Red Team, because, like, both members of Blue Team have lasted until, like, already over 130 on their stocks. And meanwhile, they're the ones that are uh, dropping a lot sooner. Right. All right, up to the back air. Oh, wow, into the dash attack. Good combos coming up from Young Link. Very mobile character, so you're going to be able to see a lot more combos coming from him, mm -hmm. especially. Great job by Zan, just being able to keep Charlie pressured enough to not really interfere with uh, Eon's edge guard on uh, AC. It yeah, helps I him take that <laughs> stock. I don't know if you saw on the right side of the stage, Eon was pressuring shield, and every time AC had the opportunity. He just up tilted and he kept doing that. And then finally, Eon just ran in up smash <laughs> to be able to take out uh, AC stock. Here we go, actually being able to even out the stock count with that back air. Just as fast as it was taking these foxes, just a powder keg of a advantage power. We got up air juggles, but the grenade's gonna be able to get him out of that situation. I think that's a very interesting uh, mechanic that Snake has, especially with the grenades. It's like I can damage myself to get out of a potentially more damaging scenario, yeah. but I have to be able to calculate that that's going to be advantageous for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're used to it from Smash, we're seeing the same calculation with Duck Hunt Can, right? Right. Did he actually, I mean, it works, you can run up and up tilt in this game. It was yeah. just kind of funny to see him go all the way across the stage and catch uh, Eon off guard. It's like the Colonel's next mission is uh, go and up tilt your opponent from across the stage. Oh. Great maneuvering by right team just around all of these explosives. AC's having a hard time really pinning them down with them. All of a sudden, down to last stock for both these players. They were behind uh, quite significantly earlier, and but now they're bringing back. It's basically up to the Foxes, right? Oh no, a team kill with the C4. That is actually really unfortunate. It's just, I mean, if he can take out Eon on his way back to the stage, he can bring this into a 1v1, but now Eon's back on the ledge, and with San uh, Cookie Slayer right in his face, it's going to be a lot harder for him to find that opening. Oh, yeah. I mean, Snake on his own, I feel like, is going to be pretty tough to handle just because um, Snake's disadvantage state is probably one of the worst <laughs> yeah. uh, among like the very good characters in this game. So having two people covering a bunch of options that Snake has, that's going to be hard for the Snake to be able to make it back. Yeah, cause, like, oh, my God! Auto-cancel arrows yeah. into spin attack? 
Yeah, that was one thing that uh, Cookie was doing really well through the, the end of that game, was just finding all of these arrow approaches into confirms, right? Just the ability to turn from a zoning character into a combo character at a moment's notice is so terrifying. And uh, Zan just has that aggressive heart. I mean, Cookie has that aggressive heart. I keep calling him Zoltag. But uh, whenever he, he finds one of those openings or thinks one of those openings might happen, like he's not afraid to be preemptively fading in with it uh, as, as, he's, as he's moving inward. Um, even though that can potentially blow up if your opponent blocks the arrow, then you're now closer to them. But uh, he's ready to rock with it. That was crazy. But the, the really, I feel like the big coin flip there was uh, between Charlie and Eon, right? Because like they were the ones that were really shedding a lot of stocks from each other, and then like just themselves also dying a lot sooner than their teammates. Right. Um, and like once the first one of the foxes died, like everything just got set in stone from there. So I think finding a way to protect your own fox a little bit longer, uh, especially that C4 explosion that caught Charlie at the end, super unfortunate for blue team. Right. Alrighty, both these two just decided to split up for right now in the beginning of the stages of this next match. Let's see how the snake tries to make it back though. Eon already on it with these edge guards. Yeah. yeah. And again, Cookie Slayer just keeping Charlie at bay so that uh, Eon gets more opportunities. Yep. Uh, that's one mix, mix up that uh, Snake's going to be able to do as he's trying to land. Is uh, If he throws out his, his hitboxes early, they are pretty meaty, so it's pretty hard to get a favorable trade with them. Yeah. So uh, that that's something that uh, Snake has going for him, but it's a matter of can he get that aerial started <laughs> because they, they, it has some startup to them. And then there's also like B-reversing grenades as well for that extra little bit of movement when you're trying to fall on the stage. Yeah. For the second half of the recovery. Snapping the ledge isn't isn't really feasible for for Snake, so he has to do like really really gutsy tactics. Yeah. All right, Charlie getting some juggles already onto Eon. Not able to finish the stock though. And now we got the box it'll happen on the left side. And let's see if Armando tries oh. to go and save him, but doesn't even need to. Both of them, both of them losing their stock, right? Yeah, just just a traded stock right there, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think their Firefox is uh, traded off stage, and they both died to it. Otherwise, even stocks too. And if you take into the percents, everything still really close together. Ooh, uh, Ooh. interesting recovery from Charlie. Uh, didn't quite make it to the stage. Got caught underneath Pokemon Stadium instead. Just like that, the the whole swing for uh, Red Team with a, a whole stock lead now on the blue team. It's gonna be a little bit harder for them to find their way back in. The amount of pressure that Red Team is able to put on them right now is actually kind of suffocating. Yeah, Red Team holding onto that center stage pretty well, trying to force more edges. There we go. That's what I want to see from uh, from Charlie, is be able to find the slightest, like, without hesitation, the moment he sees AC getting bullied, just running in there as fast as possible and interrupting it. Yeah. Eon was about to get a jab reset combo onto AC, but he was there just to be able to interrupt it at the right time. So yeah. Good awareness from Charlie, but regardless, still the damage is climbing for both Snake and uh, Charlie right now. It's going to be hard to see them trying to make a comeback. As long as Eon and Zan keep up this momentum, and yeah, just like that, that's our Armando already gone. Yeah, 2v1 against Charlie. I mean, the up smash helps, and if he, if he can take this stock from Eon, he literally needs to take it now. And he does! Okay, this is this is actually kind of possible. If he can make it back onto neutral, this is possible. Because, like, Fox actually does have that much damage, but it's so hard. Cookie isn't actually letting up at all, and he finds just the jump there, and that's it. Young Link is a... Young Link has...